It was up, my friends. I think we got like 609,000 of us now. Man, shout out to all of you all. I am Van. We are the LFR family. Thank you so much for clicking play. All right, so we about to check out something that um, people have been hitting me up to check out. Now, I know what happens. I know what happens, okay? You see someone else on your favorite, one of your other favorite channels review something, and you be like, Van, I want you to see this too. And you know what? I appreciate you for that because you see it before I do, and thank you so much. And what we're about to check out is this young lady by the name of China Ann McLean. Um, she's talking about uh, the entertainment industry and why she, and she quit her TV show? She did? Hold on, I didn't know that she quit Hollywood. Okay, I gotta check this out because this young lady been doing it for a really long time. I mean, she's been acting for a while. So I understand why she will probably see a lot more. She's probably more bold than the older people. That's what it seemed like anyway. She's far more bold and she's taking a stance. Hey y'all, uh, so uh, there's something that I want to tell you. For those of you who haven't heard and if you haven't heard, I'm sorry. But this season that we're filming of Black Lightning now is going to be the last season of the show. Um... I didn't find that out until yesterday. I found out with everybody else. I didn't know. But what I did know and have known along with the rest of the cast since before we even started shooting this season is that I am leaving the show and was leaving the show. This was gonna be my last season, regardless of if it went on or not. Wow. And just so y'all know, she plays the idiotic baby sister. <laughs> she plays this baby sister that don't listen to anybody and just want her own identity and tired of her father sneaking away and fighting crime. And so is her big sister doing the same thing and then not listening to her. And she falls in love with one of the criminals who also got superpowers, but he's a thug and he's in, it's just, just a whole lot. <laughs> it's a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know the behind the scenes part, so that's why we're here. So let's check that. I just was letting y'all know that part, just in case y'all aren't familiar with the TV show she was saying that she's a part of. I believe that was on, was it on Netflix? I forgot what it was on, but I did watch it when it was out. I watched probably like the first, the first season. That's, yeah, I think I watched the first season. And I'm tell you why I watched the first season. It was because of her big sister. Oh my gracious, her big sister. Ooh, ooh, my gracious, her big sister. But her big sister didn't like men on the show. She only liked women. So there's that. For different reasons that, to be honest, I don't want to go into. I just want y'all to trust me on it. Um, I didn't want to tell you until I had to. Now with this news breaking, I thought it, it would be the right time. But I knew I was going to have to tell you at some point because I only agreed to do a certain number of episodes. So I'm not in the whole season. And obviously, y'all were going to notice that given the fact that I was, I've been in every episode in the past three seasons. Hmm. Um. There's been a lot to happen over this quarantine. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the PC side of it. I'm not talking about that. These things are real. These people that are dying in the way of the world now, it's real. And and all this is an illusion. It's an illusion. This this industry for what it is, and everything that people look to and praise. It's not important. God is moving me in more than one way than just this show. 
It's bigger than this shelf. I'm I'm doing God's work now. And I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it plainly. I'm not leaving because I had a terrible time working at the CW. I like the CW. I like Mark Pedowitz. I like Peter Roth, Greg Berlanti. I love Celine. I always will. He gets it. And people that actually know me, not people that I've just spent a lot of time around filming, but people that know me, they know why I make the decisions that I make. And they also know that I never make a single one of them to hurt anyone or affect anybody negatively. But I am doing God's work now. And that is all I'm doing. I don't know why I was wasting time before. The reason why I started my production company is not to like yeah, start making moves. I have not played the game well when it comes to the standards of this industry. I hear you on that one. I'm oh, I hear you on that one. And oh, oh, oh. all right, guys, I'm going to run my mouth when this joint is over. Please don't go anywhere. I know y'all are like, man, I already seen this. I already this. This is my favorite part right here. Oh, she said what I wanted to say. I'm out. Peace. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't do it. You clicked on this video for a reason. Stay. All right, let's talk later. God is the only reason why I am where I am right uh -oh. now. Because he leads me where he wants me to go. Mm -hmm. And I follow him. Go ahead. And at times I resist him. And those are the times that I regret. Not now. Not right now. I know y'all are probably confused as to why I'm crying. There's other stuff surrounding you know, me leaving the show and the news and everything that we that we all received yesterday. I'm trying to deal with it. Um, but I'm not crying because, because I regret leaving. I'm really not. I would have regretted staying. Because wow. he's moving me. And when he calls, I'm going to follow. I don't care where he leads me. I don't care if it's in the middle of Timbuktu somewhere, living off of a couple pennies and a dime for the rest of my life with my family doing missionary work. I don't care where it is. I would leave all of this behind. And I've just made it to this point in my life now. I've just made it here during this quarantine. Everything that I learned and everything that he taught me and all of the, the spiritual journeys he led me on. It brought me to this decision. And I'm sorry if you guys are sad. I know it's a, a lot to take in. But just know that things are changing. Things are different now. It's not about this industry and about All of these things that people think are so important. It's not about those things. There's only one truth. And I'm going to live in that truth until I die. I don't care how anybody feels about it at this point. I've made my decision. I want to commend you. I hope she, I hope someone somehow, some way get this video to her. I want to commend you. I want to commend you. And people will look at you like you're crazy. As soon as you start talking like this, whew, people look at you like you are nuts. She done lost her mind. What's going on with China? She done lost. She done had the best of this and the best of that. Well, that's what happens. Like, she sped through it all. Fume. She used her gift. And her gift, God, God used her and her gift to get to this point to be able to speak speak to so many people and tell them the goodness of God. That's it. It's that simple. 
She's saying the stuff was nice. It was a part of the package. But it's not about the stuff. And a lot of people who don't have the stuff, who are hustling right now out there in the street doing whatever they possibly can to get the stuff, they don't realize that the stuff is not that important. And she's breaking it down. And I can tell right now that she's really trying to find she's really trying to find the right words to say. I'm about to get back to it. I'm about to get back to playing a video because I didn't want to stop it so 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 quickly. But I just really wanted to say that because the young lady gets it. She gets it. I'm waiting for my children to get it. Hmm. I'm waiting for my children to get it. To be honest with you, sometimes I wait for myself to get it. Like I will, I will, I will salivate over achieving a goal and stuff. I will salivate over a certain dollar amount per day, per week, per month, per year. But then I realize <laughs> how much life did you pass over and not enjoy while chasing this goal that you've been chasing see a lot of people who reach certain levels in life they say please do not forget the journey yeah the end goal is amazing the end goal every single thing you trying to accomplish yes celebrate that's why you gotta celebrate every single small goal that you hit Every small goal, that's enjoying the journey right there. Boom, life is good, amazing. But you don't live and breathe off of it. You're just enjoying it as everything else that happens. Mm, I never tasted this. This was awesome. Like you're taking in every single thing. You pet a, a, um, an animal that you never petted before. Oh, this is amazing. This experience is phenomenal. You're sitting out in the garage or you're sitting outside and you're looking up at the sky and you see the stars and you're just like, wow. Enjoy the journey because this right here, when you get all wrapped up and entangled in this thing right here, especially the industry that she refuses to talk about, I hope she really gets to it and say something about the industry because the, like because you started out, young lady, saying that it's not all is this ain't all this ain't what you think it is. We want to hear more about that. Why? Because. A lot of people who are watching this are younger people. Not watching this video right now. I'm talking about watching China Ann McLean's video. They're young and they're trying to get to where she is. And I don't care how much she says is not good. People are going to want to see for themselves. Just like when you tell a child not to touch the stove because it's hot. Like, oh, well. <laughs> Ah, then you run go get the dag on cocoa butter to help them out i told you not to touch it you just as foolish as you want to be that's because they don't know yet but as soon as they know then they know all right let's get back to it i've learned a lot on this show and i'm grateful for it and i'm um i'm taking a few relationships personal relationships only a few away from it but to our crew thank you to our crew I love our crew I can't list you all but thank you for for everything that you've done for this show and for being good to me thank you and I've tried my very best. Y'all know I've tried my best these past three seasons to be good to y'all. I've tried to be good to everybody on that show. Um, um, Come on, give it to I'm us. I'm sure some of you have noticed that over this time to where we've been where we've been quarantined i've started talking about things making videos that i didn't usually make talking about certain uh, certain things that i deal with and how i get through it talking about god talking having some tough conversations with you guys just because it's been put on my heart to say these things 
And I want to take that same energy over into my movies. I'm creating things now for y'all. That's not to get a check. I've never made decisions based off of money. My family never has. It's not to get a check. It's to, to teach y'all something or to show you new avenues that entertainment doesn't show y'all right now. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, movies are great. TV is great. Representation is important. But we need the spirit again in these projects. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it has dissipated. It's not here anymore. The spirit is gone. People have chosen what they want to choose. And they've chosen fame. They've chosen money. They, the spirit, mm, mm. let's act like we got the spirit. Once we achieve our goals, then we can thank the spirit. Oh, Lord, thank you for allowing me to strip every single night in front of these men, Lord God. I appreciate you. Oh, God, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, I appreciate you giving me this, the best award for having the most gangsterous album in the world. I talked about killing like 55 men words in words and people don't care about dang on spirit man the spirit is gone even people inside the church then forgotten about the spirit but this young lady right here i will say this before i continue because it's only a little bit more this young lady right here she's speaking strictly from her point of view obviously um she's very careful in what she says because she still has some um she still has relationships she have relationships to protect because she's not completely given up on the entertainment industry. She's quit the show. She don't plan on what well, she was planning on quitting the show until they said, well, we're going to be done anyway. Nobody's been watching the show. Ratings haven't been what they are. And we've been paying y'all, man, we've been hustling backwards. This show is not getting it. It wasn't for anything because of the heart that the show is gone. I'm sure she was about to quit because of what's going on with her. But this, this, this time that we're in right now, since 2020, since that happened, y'all yeah, know what happened. Y'all yeah, know what happened. I'm not going to mention it. Everybody has started reflecting more. Every, everyone has. It's forced us to. When God put us in, in a position where he slows us down, like we, he has to slow us down so that we can move forward. Sometimes we're moving so fast that we're moving backwards and don't even know it. So he slowed us down. He set us down. He set us down around the people who matter the most. Think about that. Think about that. We've been sitting, we've been like sheltered in place pretty much for almost a year and a half <laughs> well for about a year before we started being open to do things publicly with everyone else um for people who were following the rules anyway <laughs> we were sheltered around people we love or people we hate who happen to be our family and we weren't able to see the people we love. I don't know what your situation is. But for the most part, we were sheltered around people who know us, people who understand us, and people who are closest to us. And we've been forced to reflect. And whatever's been in your spirit came out. If Satanism was in your spirit, doing the nastiest, dirtiest, funkiest, meanest things in the world, if that was in your spirit, that time alone has helped you come up with some schemes that probably got you in trouble or will get you in trouble. Or you were able to sneak by the gates and not get in trouble yet. Karma hasn't caught up with you. Who knows if you believe in karma anyway. But this right here isn't all that heavily, you know, reflective or anything like that. She's not pooping on the you know, Hollywood industry, not from what I'm hearing, is just saying that her own personal experiences, she realizes that with this time that she has, that she 
need to get back to what's important. She needs to focus on what's important to her. That's her relationship with God. That's what she's saying. Like when she said earlier, um, I know I've been making videos that I don't usually make. Yeah, that's her reflecting, but doing what she do because she still has a desire to do what she do, which is perform, which is present, which is affect. She want to positively affect people with her gifts. She's not giving up on any of that. That's what this video is for. She's not giving up on any of that. What I was hoping to get a um, take away from this was something that I wouldn't be able to see or understand without hearing her to her talk. I already know that this world is going sideways, going backwards even. I already know that people are ooh, in la-la land and believe things are what they're not. I believe, I already know that. That's from 44 years of living. That's from seeing myself go through the motions. That's from not having anyone over my shoulder telling me what to do. Being able to achieve a great deal of goals that I've, I've been able to accomplish a bunch of things, but still looking at myself in the mirror like, bro, you still didn't do what you said you was going to do, though. What's up with that? Come on, man. Let's go. So I've let myself down. I've, I've been forced to look myself in the eyes. You know what I mean? So I was, I was hoping, and this is a young lady. We don't have a whole bunch of comment, but I'm certain out of the 1.2 million people who've checked out that video, they've gotten something from it. And I'm happy about that. I can only pinpoint a few now. And the rest of them hurt me to watch. The world is the way that it is right now, but a lot of people be saying they want change, but I really, I'm, I'm ready for change. I'm ready for things to change. And I want to help. I'm done teeny bopping around here. <laughs> she's done teeny bopping <laughs> it's not about making the best next move it's not about me I don't care I don't even care about that anymore I, I want to be a part <laughs> of it I want to be a part of the good and if I'm not currently really a part of it not just kind of sitting in one place but helping push it forward I don't know what I'm doing here. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, thank y'all for supporting the show. I hope you took some, some genuinely good things from it. Some good moments. I hope that you did. And congratulations to Salim and Jordan. Jordan, who plays Painkiller on the show, just got a spinoff. Y'all, please support him in that. God did that for him. And he's going to do great. I know it. The one who paid, okay, the one who played Painkiller, that was the one that, um, Painkiller, Painkiller, Painkiller. I think that was the one that she was dating on the show. I think that was, was that the one she was dating on the show? I'm not certain. Dang it, man. I thought that was the one she was dating on the show. Sheesh. Okay. Never mind. Please embrace him with open arms and support him. The show's going to be great. All right, guys. So I thought I was going to get something extremely reflective out of this. Something of uh, on a, on a, on a certain, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest with you. I, I, I honestly didn't know what I was expecting because when I was asked to check this out and I realized that other people have been checking this out, um, like a lot of people has been checking. I thought I was going to receive something a little bigger. Now I, I received something. I received something. I hope you receive something as well, but um i don't know once you 44 you 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 get tired of seeing captain obvious <laughs> does that make sense to anyone if it doesn't man i'll explain another time man but i i i 
you know, I applaud her for being vulnerable on camera in front of all these people. But I do take into account that that's her life. That's what she do for a living. <laughs> that's literally what she does for a living. So are you acting now? You know what I mean? That's that's the type of stuff that I think about. I'm sorry, that's just me. Maybe yeah, maybe that's not y'all. But when I see an actor come to themselves, I'm thinking, are you acting? Or are you coming to yourself? Also, do not put yourself down saying that I wasn't a part of the solution pushing it forward. You, yeah, you was. Yeah, you are. Other kids, black, white, or other, seen you in these shows and they wanted to be just like you. And they made moves to be just like you. And positive things happen in their lives because of it. They might not have achieved what they thought they wanted to achieve, but God has other plans. They might very well be exactly where God wants them to be. Just like you are where God wants you to be. And um, I applaud you for that. And hopefully, young lady, hopefully you find out exactly what you're supposed to be doing because right now, you're saying wherever God tell me to go, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're very young. And um, and, and announcing that publicly is, is extremely brave. Um, and I hope you find the joy that you're looking for. Because right now it seems like you're, you're looking for a certain joy that, that's missing in your life and you're looking for a certain connection that, sh that's, that's, that you feel is not really there if that makes any sense anyone else who are watching this who feel lost all i say man go into your secret closet go into your secret closet everybody's secret closet is not a video you know you're gonna put all over youtube that's that's like she had time to think about this and and all this other stuff you go into your secret closet you talk to god and if you don't have a relationship with God, talk to yourself until God start ear hustling and, and break into the conversation. Like, man, what, what are we talking about? Oh, God, thank you, man. I, I, I wasn't even going to invite you, man. Now I feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. I heard you the whole time. I was watching over you the whole time to make sure that you continue to do exactly what you're doing. Communication is everything, be it with someone else, with yourself, and especially with God. But I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Bye.